It was a full house at the Active Living Centre Saturday. Among the inductees, a father and son, both professional lacrosse players. To come in with my son is an honour to start with, but to be able to do the, share this night with my son is it's unexplainable. It, it, the thrill is there. Uh, what he's accomplished, I'm riding on his shirt tail, really. It, he's achieved more than what I ever wanted to get, and I get to honour him at the same time he's sitting here honouring me. It's an honour. It's I get to crash this party. <laughs> uh, it's a professional athlete born before I was even born, and that's all I ever heard growing up was how how fantastic he was at lacrosse, how great he was at the sport, how good he was as a coach, and I got to experience all that firsthand. So growing up, that inspired you? Oh, that motivated me, inspired me. How? Tell me about that. Uh, it's everyone I met that knew my dad growing up, that played with them, that played against them, all had a story. They all, they all would tell me, this is what you have to be, this is what you have to achieve. That's the guy you ought to strive to be like. So it was, it was, I got to grow up with him. I got to have the coach at my house every night. The night was about celebrating excellence from players to builders to teams. I think with the fact that we're inducting the 97 Senior Masters Lacrosse team, um, those guys have played sports in this town all of their lives. So they're all well, very well known to the community. And then our choices of Colin Boucher and Rick Boucher, a father and son tandem that are going in for lacrosse, both of them played pro lacrosse. So it's just, it's kind of exciting the history that's involved. And Joanne Bennett and Linda Rossbottom have been involved in women's sport since the 70s, you know, and, and so there's a huge history of, of, of sport in Huntsville for sure. Sharon Stalls, known for her work with the Terry Fox Run locally, was presented the prestigious Peter Jacob Award. I, I am so honoured to uh, receive the Peter Jacob Award. Um, it's it's a, a real a real honour. PJ was a great guy, he had a great heart and uh, he cared about people and uh, for me to get this award, it, it's doubly, spe especially because I knew the gentleman uh, really well and uh, it just warms my heart. Wendy McConnell says the list of locals waiting to be inducted continues to grow. But Huntsville has such a steep history in lacrosse and hockey. And, and now other sports are coming on board. You know, we've got Kyle Nelson that's in uh, martial, mixed martial arts. And, and you know, and, and our Olympic gold medalist, Dara Howell, in slope style skiing. So um, the facets are opening up, you know, it's, it's exciting. For the complete bios of the class of 2023, you can visit the Hall of Fame website. It's at hshf.ca. In Huntsville, Scott Acton, Kojiko News.